over the Scandinavian countries. They say that our fresh water caviar is some of the best in the world. They'll actually pay a lot of money for it. So at that time, we have as many as 30 years of people out here living out here in these buildings, and they can make a lot of money out here. So the little building to the left of the cabin then.
notice when you look over there is that there's some large boulders along the shoreline. These rocks are not natural to this area. They were brought in specifically to stabilize the shoreline because they were very concerned about the rate of erosion. The National Park Service restored the structure in the grounds meticulously back to the 1920s, down to every detail. Matter of fact, like the flower beds, the same exact types of flowers. The garden has the same things planted in it, the same order it was back in the 1920s. If you look up at the lighthouse, you're gonna notice it's very symmetrical from the left side to the right side. The right side is the head keeper's side. That is the side that's been restored to more like a museum. You can see our other tour boat there at the dock. Those people are coming out. They're doing a tour of the lighthouse today. They're gonna to be touring the right-hand side, first floor, second floor, all the way up into the lantern room. The left-hand side was used for the first assistant and second assistant. Today, the National Park Service staff, when they're on the island, they live on the left-hand side. Many of the original items have been restored back or returned back to the island and on display on the right-hand side. Now, you do have to pay, obviously, to come up with us, but then there is a small fee for the National Park Service to get a tour of the structure. $5 a person, $10 for a 